How did you get a high school bully to never mess with you again? A group of sociopaths from my school that always tormented us followed me and my friends to my house one day in a pickup truck. They stole my friend's shoes, pushed one of them until she fell, and took my sketch pad and threw it in a puddle. My stepbrother came outside, beat one of them badly, stole his pants, and threw his keys into a sewer grate before hitting him with an empty vodka bottle. It was traumatizing for me on both ends, but that group of kids never even looked at us again. He f***ed around and found out, I guess. She told me my face made her want to off herself, so I told the school counselor that she confided to me that she wants to off herself. She had to explain to everyone what she really said. Challenged him to a fight at lunch, left during the period before lunch to move 800 miles away. Weirdly, became friendly with his dad, who ripped him in front of me. Mad one. He was a typical bully, really, picking out a new target at the start of every day and stalking them, seeing how far he could take it before ripping on you for being a bitch that couldn't be teased. His favorite was to try and take you down with a liver punch or a dead leg when you weren't paying attention. The smaller guys got it worse than anybody. Like most bullies, he used to wear people down. Everyone hated him. He was tolerated but never liked. Let's call him B. Fast forward a few years, I'm 15 and starting to get into fitness. There were a few gyms in my area, but the only one I could afford was the No Frills and Broken Windows Bodybuilders gym that sat on a large industrial estate. It was renowned for being a place where you could get seriously hurt if you started to mouth off, but we just wanted to learn how to train. So one day, me and my friend walked in there like scared puppies and asked to sign up. The owner, Mark, took us around and introduced us to everyone, and from that moment, we were treated like royalty. They loved the fact that we were taking an interest. If we were unsure of an exercise, they would stand with us and they would take us through it, step by step, spotting us as they worked through the anatomy of the muscles. Soon, we knew everyone. Tekken, the guy, so big, he looked... 3D. Paulo, the dude that used to train his legs every day and had to wear chef's pants. Bree, the fellow that used to eat a Costco chicken for breakfast and one for tea. Such a mix of characters. Maybe six months in, my mate goes on holiday and I decide to go and do a late workout one evening. I walk into the gym and B is sitting there behind the reception desk. He was surprisingly cool with asking me how long I'd been training and what I was planning to do that evening. After a chat, I walked into the gym and kept my head down and began my workout. I was a few sets in when I noticed him staring at me. I knew he was going to do something because he just couldn't help himself. It started with pushing down at the barbell when I asked for a spot, and then he thought it'd be a good idea to pull on the cables when I was doing cable crossovers. Finished my workout and accepted his invitation to go into the sauna as he had just set it up. He waited until I was there with him, and then he locked the door and peed on the coals. The stench was horrific. It was a brand new machine, and he royally destroyed it. I heard a noise outside the sauna shed as Bree unlocked the door and pulled it open, trying to find out what was going on. He peered in before screaming at B. I should have known, you f***ing idiot. He looks at me. Why'd you get in there with this f***ing fool? Come on out, mate. Look at B. I'm guessing from the smell you on the coals, you dirty little t I'll tell you what, sitting here for 10 minutes and think about it. Slams the door. Bree walks me to the reception and throws me a bottle of water. Sorry about that, lad. I'm looking after the gym for a few weeks and I brought out B to work here for the evenings while I train. B is your son? I stared. Starts laughing. Yeah, he's a prick, isn't he? I hope that he doesn't make my car stink of pee on the way home. Vomited all over him. After that, he never messed with me again. Made friends on the football team. Bullies think twice when your buddies with the six foot two, two fifty pound Samoan. Crazy how nice so many Samoans are. I kicked him hard in the balls in the middle of history class in sophomore year. He had all the guys in our grade moo at me in the hallway when we changed classes. I put up with it for a week until I snapped and started beating the sh out of him with my history book. Got him up against the wall and kicked him as hard as I could. Legit doesn't remember kicking him, but I remember my foot was sweaty, which snapped me out of it. The teacher made us both go to the hallway and explain exactly what happened, so I told him everything. Surprisingly, I never got in trouble. The next year, I had to sit behind him in homeroom, and one day, he just randomly turned around and apologized. I apologized for kicking him, and he said he totally deserved it. Senior year, I made everybody in the class Christmas ornaments with all our names on them, and he got all teared up when he got his. So, not a bad ending. Well, I hit her with the brick, so that taught her the lesson to not f*** with me. I do think I went too far. I grew up in a rough area. Fortunately, I was attending the same school as my older brothers, who would look out for me. For a while, I was targeted and picked on by a particular individual, and his entourage would cackle like hyenas every time he pulled my tie, kicked my shin, or shoved me. I had no idea who these bullies were, but I was a geeky kid, so I can only assume that they'd just see me as an easy target. So after relentless bump-ins with this guy, he took things too far and he shoved me down a long flight of stairs at the school. I was only a little hurt, but I was pretty shaken up. And I, as I heard the echoes of his friends laughing and walking down the hallway, I had immediately went to find my brother and asked him if he could beat up my bully. My brother walked around the school with me trying to find where this guy is and where we'd hang out at lunch. And once we found him, my brother said to me, you go and beat him up. I was pretty taken aback because I thought he'd agree 
to fight him for me. Again, I was a geeky kid, so I started to back out. When my brother said, fine, let him bully you. Suddenly, I was back in. But I didn't know how to fight. He said, I got your back. Don't worry. My brother was, yeah, he tried to reassure me. So I walk up to the guy and I just start hitting him and i hit him a lot the next thing i know he's on all fours and the adrenaline is running through me i expected his group to retaliate and beat the shit out of me they're just shocked completely stunned so the adrenaline is pumping and i just all i can think to blurt out is kiss my shoe now in my head i'm thinking that this is all some movie level stuff all eyes on me moment and i'm killing it my bully looks up from the floor and says what i reply kiss my fucking shoe again thinking i'm a gangster and he does he kisses my shoe and I beeline it towards my brother. As we're walking away, my brother was incredibly proud of me for sticking up for myself, but leans in and says, You really gotta work on your sh**, oh, though. Why the f*** did you make him kiss your shoe? Besides the incredible cringe, they never bothered me again. Although, I did get sh from other bullies. Middle school. The bully challenged me to a fight after school. I told him to meet me on the soccer field, which happened to be visible from where my bus would park. I made sure to get out of the school as quickly as possible and sat on the bus so I could clearly see the field. As I expected, he never showed up. The next day, I announced loudly so several classmates could hear, Jason, you never showed up for our fight. I waited there after school, and you never showed up. You are a f***ing chicken. And that was the end of the bullying. Holy sh**, that was big brain. Knew he would wimp out and had a backup in case he showed up. Well played. A bully was harassing my daughter on the bus. Instead of calling his folks or jumping on him, I did this. Put him aside at the bus stop one day and asked for his help. Hey, Danny, I was hoping you could help me out. I guess there is a kid on the bus who's picking on my daughter. She's a girl and small, and I'd like for you to help protect her. If you see anything like that, could you stick up for her, please, and let me know about it? That was the end of the bullying. Psychological warfare. Like your style. I played the crazy card. My cousin started dating his, well, the bully's sister, and I guess he didn't like that, so he came after me. It escalated more and more to the point where he nearly threw down in the middle of class one day, but the teacher stopped us. So she made me stay after class and talk me down, saying she knew he instigated it and I wasn't the problem, but she couldn't have this exploding in her class again, which I felt was fair for her. A couple of days later, as I'm getting stuff from my locker, he was standing behind me. When I turned around, he slapped the books out of my hand. He said, let's go. I rolled my eyes at him, held up a finger and said, just a second. I then turned around and started hitting my head against my locker. The great thing about an empty steel locker is that you don't have to hit it very hard for it to make a big sound. So while I was not really hitting it that hard, to him, it looked and sounded like I was just wailing on it. After a few of those, I spun around and screamed at him to come at me. His eyes went wide and he just backed up slowly in front of everyone in the hallway. <laughs> he never mess with me again. I pulled a piece of hair out of her head and smacked her face against the ground. Later on, I heard she liked me, which is why she messed with me for two years before I'd had enough. I knew a girl that I liked in middle school. She made my bus rides to school and back miserable. Constantly abused me physically the whole school year. Stole my sweater to wear it herself. On the last day of school, her friend handed me my sweater and a note that explained that she had a huge crush on me, asking me out, etc. On my walk home, I crumpled that sh up and threw it as far as I could. Some girls have f***ed up ways of showing affection. Lol. Hid behind a corner and punched him in the stomach. He eventually became my best friend too, so go figure. Honestly, sometimes the kids who bully just need a reality check. Somebody to talk to. Not, not excusing bullying, but a lot of the time it comes from problems at home, and school is the only out they, that they have for their frustration and their anger. I'm not saying that that's what happened with your friend, but I wouldn't be surprised if others have similar stories. He tried to shove me down an embankment while on a field trip. Had I fallen, I would have broken my leg or worse, because the embankment ended up being about 25 feet down, then dropped off into some deep bush trees. Anyways, my best friend was next to me and said, watch it, as he came at me so I sidestepped him, and then he tumbled down the embankment, and over the edge and into the brush, fractured several ribs, dislocated the shoulder, and broke his ankle. He never did anything to me again. Fuck you, Darren. Not a bully, per se, but a dick. In my French class, a guy who sat behind me would always kick my chair repeatedly, and I was at the point where I was visibly infuriated by this happening every lesson. The girl who sat next to me turned to him and said, Hey, you should probably stop doing that. He looks like he's about to hit you. Guy laughed it off and said I wouldn't. I didn't. But I turned around and cocked my arm back. He was leaning on the hind legs of his chair with his feet on mine. So when I did this, he flinched. He fell backwards off his chair, and it all got a few laughs from the people behind us. Never kicked my chair after that.